Alright, welcome back. So today we're going to be playing my new slide map named Slide Forest. Um, this map involves sliding and shooting. It's a very unique experience compared to most slide maps. Uh, and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I finally got a new keyboard, so you guys won't be able to hear it at all, hopefully. It's a Ducky 1-2 Mini with uh, speed silver switches. It's very quiet and very fast, which I really like. So I don't have to use scroll wheel for everything anymore because my keyboard is actually good. Alright, so let's get on the map. This is Slide Forest. So this entry area has a lot of signs. They're mostly to do with stuff that doesn't really matter for the map. It's just kind of information about stuff you can see in the forest, but I'm not going to be showing any of that in that video. That will be on the Easter egg reveal in about a month on the Jump YouTube channel, which will be linked in the description, hopefully. So yeah, on this side it gives you some information like Ball of Light, which is the thing that you basically need to shoot during the map. And then ball of blood which is that thing which basically just kills you when you touch it like it's it's just useful for some things and then there's uh the leaderboard and then this side is it's all about easter eggs so uh we'll get started with the map this is the first level this does not have any slide hopping in it what did i just say <laughs> this level does not have any uh shooting in it so unlucky but it's really easy i just did in one try this map only has 10 levels you can't really tell because i have ui off this map just looks really sick with ui off um yeah but this map only has 10 levels so right there you interact key to pick up the rev you can't really see it also because i have ui off which hopefully isn't a problem during the run but i don't think it will be so here first target shooting level pretty easy bam one try. I don't know if that was one try. But there's going to be all sorts of stuff hidden around the map. I'm not going to be talking about it in this video, but you'll see it. And uh, I guess if you want to check it out, then play the map for yourself. That will first try too. Nice. Um, I'm kind of blasting through the map right now. I'm already on uh, level four, is this? But I don't find this first section too hard. It's basically just, I don't know, just some easy target shooting. So I just beat that level while rambling. I was, uh, I had a very bad train of thought. But yeah, basically I wanted to make every level in this map like significantly harder than the level before it. Uh, and I think I did a pretty good job if you compare it to like industrial industrial we didn't aim to make every level harder than the last there's kind of some levels in industrial that are really easy like in industrial level 19 is really easy whereas level 17 is like the second hardest level on the map it's not you know we didn't aim for balancing there we just aimed for the map to be really hard whereas in this map i wanted every single level to be harder than the last so it's like someone who's trying to beat this map will get like a new new very hard challenge every single level and if you want to see the full map tutorial for this map, it will be on the Jump YouTube channel. I think I will beat it in this video because this map is not very hard. I mean, it's it's very hard, but it's like, for me, it's not that hard. I, I've beaten it in like 20 minutes. The map's, uh, for any parkour players out there, if you know map difficulties, this map is difficulty Omega. So it's ranked a 7 difficulty. I don't know why the numbers are the way that they are, but Omega... It makes sense to me. I uh, I also just beat the level, so nice. Oh hey, you can see kind of part of the next level over there. I should probably fix that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the ice zone. This level is really hard. So I guess we'll just get straight into it. So I think the difficulty of this map will be debated. It could be raised to Sigma, but the thing is um, comparing this map to other Sigma maps like Slide Mountain and Slide Potato, um, it's really easy like it only has 10 levels and obviously those 10 levels are really hard but it only has 10 levels and i feel like most people who are good at aiming could beat this map on their first try ever on in like three hours or two hours which potato you'd need to come back and practice same with mountain so i'm not sure that this map will ever get ranked sigma uh because if it gets ranked Sigma, then it's Sigma for bad players, like bad aimers, and then it's uh, it's just a really easy Sigma for people who are good. 
So yeah, this level is kind of, uh, it's interesting. I got a lot of inspiration from other maps here, so this was kind of inspired by Dimension uh, because it had some sort of 180s like this, and it had some sort of similar decoration as well. Uh, Cold, the guy who made Dimension, is a very, he has a lot of very good styles to his uh, visuals. I also inspire myself, which is kind of sick, I like inspiring myself. Uh, so that's where the snow came from, it was because I was making a little secret project. It was supposed to be just like a one simple map, and if you beat the map, you can get in jump, but uh, it never it never released. It never released, so uh, it's still kind of it's in it's the it's in the can right now. It's it's not finished yet. I don't think I'll ever release it. But I don't know. Um, it was a very cool map. I might just release like a single part of it because there's one part of the map that's really cool. Uh, and it just wasn't really related to anything, and it didn't really make sense to be in the map. Um, but it was very interesting on its own, so I might consider just releasing that part of the map for people to enjoy. I'm gonna turn that down a bit. I turned down the game. I just pressed B. Fail. Alright, well, I guess I'll cut to when I get back there. Alright, after that little fail, we're back on the ice level. I'm going to unbind B. No more of that. <laughs> I just completely forgot what I was doing. Uh, well, I beat that level. I just kind of went on to the next one without thinking. But uh, yeah, here you are. I'm on the next level. This one's really hard. Uh, I have to shoot these two targets, and then I have to 180, I'll show you, I have to 180 and hit these two targets, and then that opens, and then I have to do it one more time, shoot two targets that are behind me. Why did I do this? I don't know. Dude. Dude, one out of two every time. I easy, easy, nice little flick level. That was uh, astonishingly hard. All right, so on to the next level. This level is really cool. The one is one eighties from the first level, but just jacked up. So there's like eight of them. There's six, but yeah. Uh, and then you got to do them down. So the one of these up weren't hard enough. You got to do them down. I know I enjoy making this map because aiming is something I really enjoy. And Slide Daydream is a really good example of an aiming map. And there wasn't really, there haven't really been any maps like Slide Daydream since. Maybe because it's hard to make. Uh, triggers that you know you shoot but maybe also just because it's was kind of like a very uh, small gimmick I guess Easy. All right, second last level. So this level is uh, very hard. You know, there's been a lot of talk about what's happening with Sorable, and I think that Sorable is completely fine to stop playing the game. Um, but I wonder what you guys think about this type of thing because I know that parkour is something in Crunker that can survive no matter what happens because we create the content in parkour. We create the maps, we create the speedruns, we create literally everything in parkour. So I don't think that Krunker can do anything to actually kill speedrunning. I'm not really sure what um, you guys think about it. And maybe you guys don't even play parkour. Maybe you just watch me do parkour because you enjoy it. But it is a really fun thing and you should uh, definitely learn how to do it.
All right, right as I started focusing the level, I beat it. So uh, hopefully you think that level was not too bad. All right, so now we're on the last level. And then once everything's said and done and we beat the map, we'll turn on UI and check our time. So yeah, as you can see, there's three three layer uh, head header house. What? Okay. And I could shoot through that. That's interesting. The three letter head hitter kind of house thing. And then another head hitter right here. Shoot this target. And then shoot another target down there. And then you're at the end of the map. You just need a lot of speed. And you need to make that gap and hit two targets in one jump. Well, I missed the first shot. I was playing this map with my friend yesterday. And I think, th think he didn't realize that there's a target behind the end. So he kept shooting the target up top and getting a hit marker, and then wondering why the, the wall wasn't opening. He'd be like, Bro, I'm hitting it! Bro! Why isn't the wall opening? So apparently I do a little trolling, because there's another target right there. There you go. Dude, I'm so bad. Finally, dude. Alright. We beat the map. There's our time. 56. That last level took me way longer than it should have, and I need to change some stuff about it because it just... I don't know, some things about it just don't make sense. Alright. GG's, I guess. Um, and there's like a little credits thing, but... It's not going to show anything because I didn't do anything special in the map. It's just going to be this GG room with my uh, leaderboard. I'm the only person who's beaten this map so far. And I got a 21 to 59. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and play the map. I'll put the link to the map in the description. And I'll see you next time.